Okay, got everything hooked up. Um, right now I have two refrigerators. I have the uh, inside residential refrigerator hooked up back here to the inverter. It's a cable hanging out right there. So just kind of testing. Like I mentioned previously, we are full timing uh, in this RV. So um, obviously hooked up to shore power still, but uh, just got these uh, new Ampere time 200 amp hour batteries. So I've been, uh, you know, just want to get them hooked up and see how things work. Yeah, and like I said, right now I have two, a little mini fridge and then the uh, indoor residential. This is just a little 400 watt uh, solar array got connected right now. And here is the inverter. This is got two things plugged up plugged into it and got her all wired up I don't have any circuit breakers hooked up yet for either the, the uh, charge controller here or my battery so I need to get that done not super comfortable but like I said just just testing right now here is the uh, little meter 13.7 volts using about 16 amps right now, which is surprisingly high. I uh, have 19.1 amp hours available, 98.2% capacity. So, strange why my current's so high. I'm a little curious about that. I'm going to have to check that with my amp meter. Um, like I said, I only have the, a little mini fridge and a uh, inside residential hooked up, so I'm pretty sure that residential doesn't pull that much current, so I need to kind of investigate that. It's about 200 watts. Now, it's flashing on the camera, but anyways, take my word for that. Um, Alright, I'm going to go track down my current clamp and... Uh, see what I'm pulling into this inverter. So I have my current clamp hooked up here. As you can see, it's showing about 9 point, uh, 9, 10 amps, whatever. Um, I'm clearly not reading this, this gauge right. I have to look at the manual. I don't know why there's so many amps per hour it's calculating. I'll have to look at the manual why that is. I'm not real sure. But, uh, yeah, still 9 amps is quite a lot for two fridges, I, I think. And obviously the compressor's kicked on on the inside residential. Um, still showing uh, 300, 300 watts now. Wish that would come through on the camera. But anyways, 